everyone, it's Jan, and I am back with the tutorial I promised you on this little mini album that I showed you the other day. Um, several of you have been very sweet and asked about my eye, and I am doing so much better today. I am seeing out of both eyes and am ready to do a tutorial, so I'm excited to be able to show this one to you. This is a little mini album that I did for a class um, for some ladies here in Nashville. And they had so much fun doing it, I thought I would show you and see if you wanted to do one. These are CD sleeves, and they are made out of CD sleeves that are made out of Tyvek. To begin with, you want to get the envelope itself really pretty wet because that will help the, the paper absorb your paint. I will tell you, I had several kids in my class over the weekend and they had so much fun. I love that kids have no fear of new things because they don't think that they can mess it up. This is one of those things, it's finger painting. We are finger painting, ladies. <laughs> so, if you want to put some gloves on, do. But if you want to just really kind of channel your inner child, this is the time to do it. You can't make a mistake, and you really can't mess this up. So, I have the surface really damp. And I'm going to put some colors on here. And, gosh, y'all, look. I just put my fingers in it and rub the colors in and if you want darker color you put less water if you want lighter color you add some water to it and I'm going to add just a little bit more dark over here in this corner I'm going to put a little more green over in here and then once you've let it sit there for a second you just wipe it off with Doesn't it make it so cool? It's like it's tie-dyed. Okay, can you tell that I'm old? Because I'm excited about tie-dye. Okay, so you're going to do this to both sides. And you haven't made a mess. You're going to put paper inside of here, so don't worry. If you want, you can put your paper towel down in here and dry a little bit. I usually wait until I'm... I'm totally done. You'll want to do the opposite side. So I'm going to clean up this little mess because you want to do five of these envelopes. Five or six, however many pages you want. But I'm going to clean up this mess because you do all of your envelopes and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so after you've done your envelopes, set them aside and let them be drying just a little bit and you can work on the front of your album. And these covers, I just cut to the size of the CD envelopes, about a, probably a half inch. These CD sleeves are five by five, so this is about a five and a half, and I think it's 12, I cut it 12 inches. So you do whatever you want to do to cover that. For me, I took one of the little bird books and covered it with dictionary paper. Just use your glue and then trimmed it with the distressing. Did my little bird with crackle. If any of you all have a hard time finding the supplies, I think you can probably find them at Staples or whatever, but if you have a hard time finding them, let me know. I have a few of these kits left from this weekend just with the basic supplies so I'd be happy to to get those for you. Okay so we decorate our cover and the other thing that we want to do is we want to make the little photo mats that are going to go inside here and that is basically what keeps you from seeing the the back of your tie-dye that you've done on the other side. So these I cut to four and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to show you how I distress a large 
area of something. I, I know that most of us are familiar with using the sponge dauber or the foam pads, but when I'm going to do a large area like this, I get one of these stencil brushes because I think it gives me softer coverage. I still start off the, the page on my craft mat and move around, but you can see it just gives you very soft coverage. So to begin with, I put that down and I'm just using repositionable tape so that I can take it back up but it'll stay in place. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my little insert. Just going to cover it softly and that's going to give me a nice little frame around my window and I do it, did it on the back side as well so that it gives that a nice journaling spot or you can put another you can put another photo on there if you want. Now before I take my little mask, my homemade mask off, the thing I'm going to do, I'm use a mouse pad to stamp on. I'm going to take my stays on because the the plastic in here is just not going to accept regular ink very well. And I want to put a little bit of visual interest over this and put this on the other side. It just gives it some texture. And I can take the mat off and that repositionable just comes free and put my mat rub all of that off. You want to stack them with the frames side up and you want to trim off all but maybe half of an inch and you bend them back in the opposite direction. Okay? And I'm going to line them up in that crease. See the crease? There. Open it up. I'm going to take my stapler just on the fold Put a couple of, and then on mine, I just took another piece of paper and put over this strip, covered this up. So when you open your book, you open and you have your pages. Very fun, totally great Mother's Day gift. It would be a great thing to do for. Um, Easter or an end of school project because your kids could so totally get in there and do that. I'm going to do another tutorial on how I did these little flowers because they are pretty. Very pretty and it's another fun technique. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. It was fun to come back and share something with you. I hope you all have a great week. You take care. Bye.